it guys, Mark from Wandering Souls, back with a new video for you. Um, yeah, this time a bit, um, let's turn the music a bit down. Um, a different kind of video, uh, a video series I did a long time ago, but never um, took the time to record a new, uh, new edition, but uh, yeah. Let's start, let's do a new booth and ramblings video. Uh, it's been a while. Um, just talking out of the blue here, um, enjoying some music, some beer, of course. We talk beer um, and music and whatever comes in mind for this video. Um, right now, enjoying a little nice um, brand beer which is from Walre Limburg uh, which is in the southern part of the Netherlands um, this is a special um, spring bok beer I think it's, you could call this lente bok um, as you guys can see it's a bit darker blonde beer with um, a bit higher percentage uh, alcohol than the normal uh, beers have normal around here in the Netherlands is four and a half five percent of alcohol in a beer um, there are beers that are lower in percentage um, some beers that have no alcohol at all and you have of course heavier beers uh, this is a bit more heavy this is six and a half percent hope you guys can see that here somewhere Oops, it wants to focus, probably me not, but yeah, anyways, uh, really nice beer, Brandt, Brandt is a really nice uh, brand, um, it's probably one of the oldest brands of beers from the Netherlands, and not a lot of foreign countries know it, but um, you definitely should know it, because yeah, it's one of the better brands in the Netherlands, concerning just... Um, bigger names um, speaking wise uh, of course you have Heineken but that's not a beer I really like if you have Grohl's, um, Hertog Jan, um, Amstel um, yeah, concerning bigger names from the Netherlands and yeah Brandt, Brandt beer um, and of course there are a lot of smaller breweries um, the Brandt is definitely one of the oldest ones. Um, they say they are from 1340, um, first starting uh, brewing. Um, although it's not really confirmed, but uh, it's definitely one of the oldest uh, breweries from the Netherlands. Um, but yeah, darker blonde beer here. Let's see, give a nip here. I really like the um, it's it's a, got the bitterness but also kind of sweetness. It's um, definitely a really nice beer for springtime. It's a really nice <laughs> weather outside. If you think it's the right temperature, this is definitely a really enjoyable beer. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, Brandt is. Um, yeah, really long history. Um, brewed a lot of kind of beers. They have normal pilsners. Uh, there's a saison, uh, Weiss and beer, um, IPA, session IPA, um, uh, autumn buck beer, uh, double buck beer, um, old brown beer, uh, different kind of stuff, and it all sounds. Are in this really cool bottle, which have really nice imprints as well. Um, really cool, and every um, kind of beer from Brandt has a different kind of color: um, the orange labels, blue labels, light blue. You know, you know it. Every kind of uh, beer has a different kind of label. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's really nice beer. Really enjoy it. I really like the pilsner of this um brand um but yeah yeah really enjoyable uh bigger name um also part of the heineken concern um uh, like i said i don't really like heineken beer but um 
yeah, throughout the years I really liked this beer. Um, it's more bitter than Heineken. Heineken is kind of really get into easy into it, and I think, in my opinion, they have not a lot of depth in taste. Um, that's why I don't like Heineken, um, probably. Um, but yeah, this is really cool beer, a really nice beer, really cool stuff, really enjoyable. But yeah, enough rambling about beer. Um, let's talk about some music, guys. Um, right there in the background, here's some Dutch nice death metal. We're listening to Gorefest with Mind Loss. First album from this band released in 1991, 1991 I think. Yeah, 1991 by Foundation 2000 and reissued by Nuclear Blast in 1993. This version it is because they signed to Nuclear Blast after this album and um, yeah, it went big on from this band and um, broke up and eventually came back together and broke up again. So that's story in short. In the meantime, they released a bunch of albums and because and of course I have a bunch of them. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, really cool stuff. Sound changed a bit throughout the years, but it's definitely one of the better old school ones from this band. Um, the grunts are also the deepest um, from all releases on this one. Um, yeah, really cool songs. Uh, Mental Misery, Brutal Stench of Human Remains, Futile Carnage, Tangled in Gore, uh, Confessions of a Serial Killer. Yeah, really great classics on this. Um, this is the old lineup. After this album, the lineup changed as well. Um, the drummer and guitar player left and they replaced by Baldwin Bonabacher and um, Ed Warby on drums. Um, but yeah, really cool stuff. So this up for a while. And the booklet is most of all lyrics and stuff. You know the deal here. Um, but a really cool release, and as you guys can hear, it's fucking cool, cool stuff. Um, yeah, amazing band, Gorefest from the Netherlands. Definitely bet check out. Um, let's think a bit more about them. Um, also, at least. Um, an album after this one, which is called False. Um, that album is more imbalanced and even some more brutal as well. Uh, he's got some blast beats. Um, yeah. Right after that, they changed the sound a bit with um, Erase, which has this cover. Um, I'm just showing like this because I have a reissue with both albums. Um, in one uh, package. Um, oh, this, this song rules. I like the melancholy of this. It also kind of Black Sabbath the riff, I think. Amazing stuff. Um, anyways, the issue for these albums, um, the booklet here. Yeah, the lineup, lineup didn't change after the uh, the change I mentioned earlier. So yeah, uh, this this was more steady. Um, Yeah, like I said, Falls was more brutal, but more balanced in a way. Um, also slower parts, but also um, faster parts. Um, the race um, sounds a bit different. Um, it's more, get more melody, it's a bit slower, uh, uh, in my opinion. More on the groovy side um, for this band. Also. 
uh, noticed more a change in vocals uh, by Jan Chris de Koeier. Um, more of a less gory um, guttural British sounding. It's more more like that. And I, I don't know what I really can explain, but uh, yeah, it sounds different. Um, but yeah. I really enjoyed that album as well. Low are a good, good song. The title track, of course. Uh, Fear is a good song. Uh, yeah, great, great stuff. Um, check out those albums, False and Erase. You definitely will enjoy those. Um, great stuff. Um, in between, there was also a live issue um, for the Dynamo Festival. Um, uh, recorded in 1993, um, this is the Eindhoven Insanity, and this guys, if you want the Gore Fest release, besides False and the first one, this one is it, um, the essence of the live feeling and the sound um, brutality on this, man, it is, it is really really good, and it's funny if fact also that uh, the drummer at Warby somehow got an accident or something and had the hole in his finger but still managed to play a whole set Gorefest. So that's really um, really remarkable. Um, yeah. But yeah, there was a killer set uh, containing songs from the first two albums. Um, yeah. Fucking great, man. And this one was released by Nuclear Blast, of course. But yeah, I mean the killer set, Eindhoven, um, Dynamo Open Air, was a really big festival in the Netherlands back then. Um, growing, growing and growing. Even at the point they have more than 100,000 people on there. But um, yeah, during this period I think 40,000 or something, I don't know. But yeah, really cool stuff, um, you can see the audience also a bit, you can imagine how big um, the audience was at, at this festival, and only for metal bands playing, um, yeah, it's really cool, um, sadly the festival um, didn't take place in, uh, in the 2000s, um, if a couple of times were after that, I think. 2004 or five or something was the last one um, but yeah after that um, disbanded the festival um, after a long period Dynamo uh, which is also a venue um, organized a little festival again in the Eisbahn in Eindhoven um, Dynamo Metal Fest not really um, same setup, uh, big as it was, but smaller, but still metal and still pretty cool. But um, that was a side step from Gorefest, of course, because this album, guys, uh, the glorious dead, state of mind, get a fucking life, mental fucking misery, um, the confessions of a serial killer guys this is really really good and definitely worth checking out the Eindhoven Insanity by Gorefest really great stuff um, after that um, sound changes again and get even more melodic um, but still a really good album in my opinion this is a soul survivor amazing band amazing album like it's a really catchy song there, Freedom, 40 Shades, um, Soul Survivor, uh, Dark Day, Demon Seed and Chameleon, definitely one of my favorites on this album. Um, but yeah, uh, as you see this disc is a bit older because I already have this a long time. But yeah, it was released in 1996. Um, yeah, hope I can get this out, this motherfucker. Um, okay. 
really cool. Um, yeah, like I said, more melodic. I got some other influences as well, um, but it is still remaining really cool sounding. And this is definitely one of the last albums I enjoyed because the album after this one, which uh, I owned but don't own anymore because I, yeah. I didn't want to really have it in my want to have it in my collection. Um, but that was super bad. But um, chapter 13 is the album I'm talking about. Um, even more softer, um, more uh, hard rockish sounds um, mixed with their uh, young Christian vocals. Um, it didn't match in my opinion. It, it does on some songs and even some songs he tried to sing clean um, yeah didn't really do that for me and sounds drastically changed and, um, after that album the band got their first split up and there were a lot of uh, differences between the members um, and just decided to call it a quit um, but yeah, in the 2000s, I think, yeah, um, they came back with La Muerte, an album I'm still missing in my collection and still need to grab. But they got back more to death metal sounds uh, like they did on Forbes, and um, yeah, that's a really good album. So I still want to grab that album and also got their follow up and also the last album they have released in 2007, um, Rise to Ruin. Also in the same vein of La Muerte. So yeah, you know what to expect. Last two albums are pretty decent albums in my opinion. And um, definitely better than chapter 13. Um, there are some people that like that album, but um, I wonder did they like the early core fest? I don't know, but um, it's not my cup of tea, chapter 13, but I like the early gore fest. So yeah, that's probably why. Let's go, man. A nice solo over. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's about Gorefest. Um, if you are not familiar with this band, I will try to leave some links in the description. Maybe you can check them out. Um, different time periods of Gorefest and let you decide what you like best and what not. Just let you know guys in the comment section. Um, anyways, um, yeah, really nice rambling here. Um, some other stuff I want to mention, um, you probably also noticed that it was a bit a while um, that I made a video. Um, I'm still doing, gonna do updates guys, uh, I've really, really, st uh, stuff is uh, packing up and um, yeah, I got some really nice stuff to show you, um, it's just not um, really, um, know for sure what I gonna do so I'm gonna ask you guys I want to do a final update because um, I've got a lot of stuff to show you around um, almost eight albums maybe more um, the, um, we're still waiting for two albums so um, maybe ten or something I don't know exactly but uh, do you want me to do a bigger long update um, or some smaller updates um, like four or five albums at a time uh, just let me know guys or just should I just release the video um, if all the records I got in um, just let me know in the comment section I'm really curious what you think um, if I show all the albums of course the video will be longer um, just like this video actually um, yeah if that's not the case, there will be of course shorter videos like 10-15 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, let's decide what you want to see, uh, guys. Um, but there got some really cool stuff to show you, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, also got a CD update coming up and a tape update. Um, 
still waiting on some stuff as well, um, but the, those updates won't be as big as the vinyl update if I wanted to do it one time. Um, anyways, um, yeah, just some rambling and uh, other stuff that I do normally, um, just in other settings, just more relaxing. Um, yeah, my kitty cat is sleeping over there. Um, and for now, I'm just gonna enjoy some more music um, with a nice bronze beer. Um, but yeah, um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, updates coming up, so don't worry. Regular videos. Um, maybe gonna do some reaction videos as well coming week. I don't know. Uh, what to do um, but we'll see what happens um, anyways that's it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, enjoy your weekends um, just like I do and um, hope to see you very very soon